It was another exciting Friday night at Stafford, so let's go over a few stories you may have overlooked in this week's edition of Stories You Missed. A couple SK Modified teams had much needed top 10 runs. One of them was Tyler Hines, who started 15th. Hines entered week 3 with finishes of 27th and 18th. Last Friday, the JG Pool and Racing 99 gained 7 spots for their first top 10 of the season, with Hines finishing 8th. Dylan Kopech started 2024 with a heavily damaged race car in open practice, before finishing 18th in the opener and last in week 2. The steer right tire and auto 16 started Friday's feature in 14th. The East Long Meadow native was able to make his way forward for his first top 10 finish with a 9th place effort. Late model sophomore Bobby Sturck III is off to a much better start in 2024. After car issues on opening day, the A6A Associates Tri-State Elevator and Hoist No. 9 has found much better consistency with finishes of 6th and 7th in the last two races. The Sturck team is looking for more, but this is a step in the right direction. With two SK Lite modified features run last Friday, a few drivers outside the podium managed to score two top 10s. Megan Fuller actually scored two top five results, finishing fifth and fourth. A great bounce back after her big wreck the previous week. Chris Vians and the 12 team quietly claimed finishes of eighth and seventh on Friday. It's Vians' best two finishes since returning to the SK Lights last year. And after taking the last couple seasons off, Peter Bennett returned to Stafford in his orange number 50. After problems in race one, Bennett rebounded Friday to score finishes of ninth and sixth. A great night for that trio of drivers. Mike Hopkins has started deep in the limited late model field over the last two races. In week two, he finished seventh after starting last. Last Friday, the Regency Fireplace Product 78 scored their first top five of the year, scoring fifth after starting tenth. Even though Hopkins has been racing part-time, they still show speed when they're there. Jason Lafayette has been off to a quietly solid start in the street stocks. The five-time winner started off the year with a seventh, second, and seventh, with one of those sevenths coming after a mid-race spin. The Tri-State Equipment Repair 21 is looking for a little more improvement to get their first win since 2020. And as far as the four-leaf clover goes, I'll give it to Alex Pearl in the SK Light Modified. He did claim a top five finish in last Friday's resumption feature, but the other two races have not gone their way. In race one, he got spun out of third place on the last lap, winding up 22nd. In our most recent feature, Pearl was again running top five when he was caught up in a chain reaction that saw him get clobbered in the left front, ending his night in 24th. The Darling Auto Parts 7 team has shown a lot of speed, so a little change of luck can give that team a real good chance at breaking their winless drought. And the SK Light Modifieds headline the action this Friday with their 40 lap main event in the Monaco Ford SK Light Double Down Race, Friday, May 24th.